In this video, I want to give you a tour of the Stata interface. Within this main window, you have five smaller windows, which I'll present to you along the video. If you click any of these windows, you get a contextual menu with some options, like changing the font, as you can see here. Also, if you don't like the way the windows are set, you can just move them around by clicking the name of a window, let's say properties, you hold that click and you move it, so you see some arrows. You just set your mouse on top of any of these arrows and this will change the location of your window. So let's see, let's leave properties here, but I don't like it that way, I'm just put it back. Okay, for you to understand what each of the windows do, we will create a tiny data set containing five observations and two variables. Don't worry if you don't understand everything that I'm doing, just follow my lead for now. If you look at the properties window on the right hand side, you see we have zero observations. Here we are. Because we have not input any data yet. Also, notice there are variables window contains no variables. So to create our first observations, let's click the command window and type set OBS 5 because we want to create five observations and I'll press enter. This will give us our first data data set containing five observations, as you can see on the properties window over here, but still zero variables, so it is an empty data set. Now let's create a variable called ID, containing our ID numbers one through five by typing in the command window, generate, or you can just say gen if you want. I'll explain it later, for now let's use generate ID equals space underscore n and press enter. Can you notice how the windows have changed? The variables window on top right now contains the new variable we've just created called id. The review window, which is this window on the left, log the two commands you've typed so far. Well, you get the idea, right? Try to notice how each window changes every time you type a new command. On the left hand side, you have the review window, which I'm showing you here again, which logs all the commands you have used so far. If you want to reuse a command you have already used, you can click on the command once to copy it to the command window. Here we go. And let's delete this. Or twice to execute it. And look what happens. ID is already defined, so we just executed the command again and it didn't work. Now let's create our second variable. I want to call it var and its values will be twice the ID number. So it's gonna be two for variable number one, four for variable number two, and so on. Once again, click the command window and type a simple function called generate, because we wanna create a variable, var, the name of the variable, equals, and the function. So ID, which takes the values in ID and multiplies them by two. So ID asterisk two, and press enter. Notice your variables window shows both your variables now, id and var. And congratulations, you have just created your first data data set. To see how it looks, type list in the command window, list and press enter. If you did everything right, you will now see this tiny data set with two variables and five observations. Our variable id and var, and these are our five observations. And note, their expression worked well, so we have two, four, six, eight, and 10, which are twice the number, the numbers that we have in ID. You can select this output and copy and paste it somewhere if you wanna print it, let's say. So just select it, right click, and you can say copy as picture, copy as table, copy table as HTML, you just choose whatever you want. You can just use copy. but you should be aware that you may have formatting problems when pasting this to a word processor or a notepad. Let's try notepad. Well, it works on a notepad. Let's close this, minimize it. So why don't you pause the video quickly and try copying this table to a word processor or notepad to see how it works in your computer. All right, let's do a quick review of each of the actions we performed. First, we use the command set OBS5 to create an empty data set with five observations. Then we created a variable called ID 
and assign values 1 through 5 to it because we wanted to create ID numbers. To do this, we just use underscore lowercase n. Then we created another variable called var. Let's skip this step here. I just wanted to show you. So we created a new variable called var and used a simple function to define its values to be the ID number times 2. So its values are 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. To do this, we repeated the command generate, which creates a variable, defined the variable name var, and used the equal sign in the expression we wanted. Finally, we used the command list to show us a list of our observations, together with their values for each variable. And we can see this all in the review window. Now it's your turn. Try playing around in the menus in the toolbar and tweaking the functions we just used to see what happens. Hopefully, you will make some mistakes and learn a lot from them.